You may have just started your producer journey and reached the point where you have to mix some automation clips. Well, in today's video, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know about automation clips in the studio. Let's head into it. So before we head into the automation clips, I just want to quickly explain what they do. With automation clips, you can control different parameters around your synthesizers or whatever within the software, actually. You can determine whether something should be on or off if you want to enable and disable an effect. You can control different knobs within the synthesizers. You can basically control everything with them. It's important to notice before we head into it that there is a different ways to create automation clips, whether it's the plugins that come with FL Studio or is it third party plugins. But let's head into it and look at the difference. All right, so here I have made a melody, one with the Flex plugin and one with the Silent plugin. The Flex plugin comes with FL Studio and the Silent plugin is a third party plugin you can download online. So let's say I, for this melody I made here, want to open the melody up and create a automation clip for the cutoff. Let's start with the FL Studio plugin. You can see you have the knob for cutoff down here. And what you simply are gonna do is you're gonna right click on this and create automation clip. You'll then see the automation clip pop up in the playlist here. It looks like this. And if we just paste the melody in here, you can see what I can do is drag this I can take these endpoints here. I can move them about. I can do up and down. And let's say I want to open up cutoff for this length here. So now when I played, you can hear that the melody is affected by the automation clip because it opens up the cutoff. You can, when hovering on these points, you can see in the top left, in this part here, that this is 100% and down here, this is 24%. If you want to create more points, you simply just right click wherever you want in the playlist and you can kind of shape them like you want to. Between every point, between every two points, there's a point in the middle as well. And this you can left click and drag upwards and downwards to kind of shape the direction of the line here, right? So you can make it very sharp towards the end or towards the start. Let's say I want to create an automation clip for the silent instead, which is here. Um, when you come into silent, I want to control the cutoff, with this, which is here. Uh, if I right click on it, which I did with the Flex plugin, you will see I won't get the same options as the Flex plugin. So to create an automation clip with third party plugins, what you want to do is you want to click on it, hold, and then just move it around like this. And then you can just press Control Z if you want to go back. Then you're gonna go to the left corner of the tools, go down to last tweak, and then you can read in the top here that the last knob I tweaked was the sign of one filter cutoff. Then press create automation clip. And you will see we will have a, uh, an automation clip for the filter cutoff for the sign of plugin instead. And you can do the same with this one as the earlier one. That's basically how you create the automation clip. So now what can we do with the automation clips? Well, if you see here, uh, first of all, if you want a specific uh, value for the points, let's say I want this to start at 50%. You can right click on the point and then press type in value. And then let's say 0.5 is 50%. It goes from zero to one. So 0.5 would be 50%. And if I press enter, you can see it moved to 50%. And if I type in value here and say one, it will be 100%. So now it goes from 50 to 100%. 
let's say I want this specific value down here. You can also right click and then say copy value, go to another point and then say paste value. And you can see that is around 8%. So that's one of the things you can do with the automation clips. So the next thing you can do with the automation clips is that you can actually shape them in different ways. So let me just show you to do that. Um, if you go to one of the points, let's say you had the start point here and you have the end point here. If you right click on this endpoint, you will see you can give, get some different modes. So right now it's on the single curve mode, which is the way that it changes when I change the middle point here. You can see if I take the single curve three, that it can get much sharper here in the end and the beginning point than it would if I had this the first single curve. So that's uh, one of the things you, you can do. You can also create cool effects. You can, for instance, take this pulse here and you can see how it creates an, a space where it's on and then it kind of goes to zero. And you can change the height of this by dragging the end point here. And if you want more pulses, you can take the middle point here and drag it upwards. And you can see it can create many, many of these. Sounds terrible, but it can create some cool effects and therefore it's good to know. You can also create uh, the same just in as a wave where the same principles uh, are there. You can drag it and create many of these waves or drag it out so it's up like a long wave. And again, you can create really cool effects with these. Um, so yeah, right clicking on these and having the different modes here. Right, so the next thing I'll show you is also very cool. And uh, let me just quickly put this sample, which is some quartz samples I have got from MJ. Sounds like this. If we just put it in here and let's put in a reverb, put the effect up here. So now when I play it, you can hear the reverb. Let's automate the input of the reverb. So when the reverb is at zero, you can't hear it. And then when it's uh, at 50, then these parameters are applied 50%. So let's just right click here and create automation. What you can do here is you can actually right click on this icon up here, and then you can go down to articulate the tools. And here you can choose the analyze audio file. When you do that, you just choose the audio, which I'm just gonna quickly find the location to. Articulate the tools, analyze audio file, then just paste up here, click on this one, and open, and then it's analyzing the audio. And now you can see that the reverb is applied when the sample is playing. If you right click here again, and you go to the articulated tools, then you can flip it. So it's the reverse effect. So when it's not played, reverb is applied. Which is really cool as well. You can also go to here and press the scale levels. And then you can apply the effect in different ways. And in that way, you can kind of mess with the the uh, effect. Which is really cool. Okay, so the last thing you show is, let's say you have this sound here. And you have this sound here from the silence. Then I had the cutoff here from the silent and let's say I want the cutoff from the flex this year to be affected by the automation clip from the silent what you can do is you're gonna go to here to the cutoff right click and then you're gonna press the link to controller and here on the internal control panel you can click 
and you can choose the sign it won't fill the cutoff. And if this uh, remove conflicts is ticked on, then remove it. Otherwise, it's gonna override the other effect. Then you press accept. And now you can see the cutoff. It's linked to the cutoff from the silent. So if you have a sound or multiple sounds, where you want to apply the same effect to and, and control that with just one automation clip, that's the way to do it. And if you can't right click it, as you cannot do on the sign up here, you just gonna move the knob, go to tools, last tweak, and then press link to controller, and then choose what to link it to. It's a really good way to organize your projects because instead of applying eight different cutoffs, automation clips, for eight different sounds, you can just create eight different sounds and then just one dollar cut off. And so yeah, that's a great way to keep it simple and organize your project. So yeah guys, that is it for this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see some new content and peace.